all nosy today. Suspicious, that's a misdemeanor or a felony? How you doing, name and badge number? It's uh, 38. 38, name? Yeah, I'm investigating, so yeah, you do. Okay. What are you investigating? Yeah, 2921.29. You ever heard of it? Have you read it? So there's no reason for the mailboxes. Huh? There's no reason for you to be taking a picture of the mailbox, according to you. Absolutely. Smith v. Cummings says that we have the right to film law enforcement in the course of their duties. I can't. I'm doing a story on the shotgun. I can't tell you that. You can be curious. We don't answer questions. Name and badge number, sir? Okay. Well, if people are concerned that you're going to, you know, try to break in your mailbox and things like that. Aw. That's what I'm doing here. Aw. I mean, you can see where people would be. I didn't say you did. I said that's what they're concerned with. Aw. Their concern is none of our business. Mm -hmm. but nothing, I've done nothing okay. I didn't say you did. I just asked you to ID yourself. That's all. Right. And unless we broke, unless we broke in the law in some kind of way, we don't have to show you ID. I'm not saying that you do. I'm just asking as a courtesy. I told you why I was here. Right. Having a conversation. Right. I'd like to know who I'm talking to for officer safety. I'm sorry. Okay. Do I have a reason to be? Okay. You the one who brought it up. That. You tell us. I don't know that on any call I go to. So any call I go to, I ask people for ID. Now, they don't always have to provide it. You're right about that. But that doesn't mean I can't ask. Does that make sense? I've been doing stories in the last year. Okay. Let's just, let's just explain it like this. You can ask and we can respectfully decline. Did anyone see us breaking into a mailbox? I they didn't, did they? Say that. I never once said that. Well, their concern is none of my business. Okay. <clears throat> their concerns don't trump my rights. Our rights. Yeah, not very consensual either. You don't have to talk to us either. Okay. You can go kick rocks and flip flops. No. You can go kick rocks. We don't have to talk to you. Okay, you don't have to. You're absolutely right. You're, You're right. You can go. Right where I'm talking to him. You can he go. Right. You can go. We didn't ask you, you to come here. Maybe. None of your business. That's fine, and you can tell them that. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Suspicious. Well, if you're taking pictures of people's mailboxes, that you gotta admit that's suspicious. I would want to know why somebody was taking pictures. And it's none of your business. You know what? We don't have to answer her questions. Don't answer any more her questions. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Don't answer any more her questions. Local buildings. Yes. Okay. The city of Kishon. Okay. In general, we've taken pictures of houses. We've taken pictures. Unless we've broken the law, what we're doing is none of your business, Sergeant. And I've been talking about coming up because you're only 40 minutes away from where I live. Okay. I've been talking about coming up there. A friend of mine actually lives in town. Not something that happens around here a lot, and like I said, this is you know, 
tight-knit community. Pretty much everybody knows everybody. So when somebody strange is taking pictures of what looks like, you know, mailboxes, they're going to give us a call. And we're going to stop and ask them. So if I were taking pictures of birds, would you stop and ask me the same thing? You're ridiculous, Sergeant. Why don't you go about your business and we'll go about our business. Sergeant in Coshocton, Ohio, doesn't seem to be able to mind her business, but she certainly seems to want to mind everybody else's business. There's nothing you can have anybody up on anyway. Here's an idea. Why don't you tell them to mind their business and we'll mind ours, Sergeant. That's why I'm talking to you, or asked you to tell me what I can build you to be in It's none of your damn business. We can go into any public building we want to and it's none of your damn business. So what? A constitutionally protected activity can in no way be construed as a crime, turned into a crime. You're taking pictures of mailboxes and you might be breaking into them. Oh, yeah. Worried about that. They didn't say that we were. You're going to back off a little. Just walk up and just start running people's license plates just to be running people's license plates? I was going to make a suggestion to you. Our common police courthouse has a lot of parts that come involved and it is inside the courtroom. So if that's what you're interested in, you may want to make arrangements for the You're not allowed to video in the courtrooms anyway. Well, they're historical buildings, and if you call, we'll set up a time where the judge is in session. Okay. I'm not coming back. So, are you going to identify, or are you just going to stand there looking stupid too? Deputy. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. No, most people don't. But again, the sheriff's department. There is some artwork. It won't be the day, but. There is some artwork in the front hallway of the sheriff's office that has the original sheriff's building. I'm so sorry. So just so you know, when a disabled person walks up to you and asks you for your name and badge number, you should really identify yourself because there are those of us out here who are visually impaired. I'm talking to you, gray hair. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. Watch it, asshole. 